Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing good today so far. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. So as you can see, I have some short little nails today. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever done a video so far with short nails. So that's what we're gonna get into today. all four of my fingers besides one just to show you what I did so um I filed my nails really really skinny for the design I want to be doing today so after completing that um my nails were left like patchy like there was this color builder gel on it this pink color so after filing it down so low you can see all the things that I've done before <laughs> underneath. So I have this Model 1's um, polish. Let me see if I can see any info. No. <laughs> I have this Model 1's polish from their nude collection. And a few months ago, I actually did a video on it doing some swatching, which I'll put up here. So this had a lot of great nudes in it. And as you can see, this is a really close match to this Builder Gel. And it also is a close match to Poly Gels and, you know, etc. So when you do filing, sometimes you do get some light spots. So that's what I did on all the rest of my nails because I really wanted this to be flat, like I said. So I can hopefully achieve the look I'm going for. So I did all my filing, I did my base coat, and now I'm just adding this polish to complete the base look for this set. I'm gonna mostly cover it up, but you know, you still want it looking good because I know it's under there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cure that. Okay, now I'm going to do a second coat. And now the final coat. So in order not to flood your cuticles, you want to have polish just on just on one side of the brush. Start like, you know, in the center of your nail. Get that all nice. <laughs> and then you just want to work the product up towards your cuticle. And then you won't have any flooding. Okay, so I top coated that nail and I'm not too concerned about, you know, full coverage or the shape like crazy, you know, of course I want it to look good, but I'm going to be covering it up practically all the way. But yeah, as I said, this pink color from the Model 1's nude collection is amazing. It has my teeth marked from opening it. <laughs> But it's amazing and I will have it listed in my description box because it is so good for quick fixes like what I just did. So my next step, what I do is when I use a peel off base, that's why these other fingers, you know, look matte is because they have the peel off base that already dried is I like to put some cuticle oil or you can use lotion, whatever, just something that's oily. But I have this one from the Dollar Tree that I really like to use. I got this years ago, so I don't know if they still have this. But yeah, because it has a brush, so it makes, you know, the application really good. And precise. So I like to put oil on. And then I use my peel off base coat. Because what the oil does is it makes the peel off base coat much easier to come off. It already is pretty easy, 
but if you have nails that you want to get off you know like right away with no problem this makes the job a lot easier so i'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes so while i'm waiting for that nail to dry i'm gonna go ahead and apply a no wipe top coat to the nails with the peel off base that have already dried all the way okay so i'm all cured this peel off base coat dried so i'm gonna get into the next step i bought a few new powders from aliexpress but i'm going to be using this born pretty one today let me just get the applicator so this is a really pretty one i got a green and a blue coloring for my other ones but I don't really want that I wanted something a bit neutral that it would uh not clash with what I want to do here so you just want to take some and rub it in and look how pretty that is trying to get my finger in there <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna rub this into all of my nails and there's no gonna be being clean because <laughs> I'm using my left hand yet again I was gonna take these nails off and then I was like you know let me just do a video for all the short nail lovers out there whoa dip my pinky in it <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I am gonna use a top coat that you know I use for glitters and powders. It's running a little low. God, I made a mess. So now for this second coat, I want to focus on the edges really well and that cuticle area. So I'm just going to do that with the applicator that it came with. And then the excess I will rub in with my finger like I did the first application. So before I top coat this, this mat always goes crooked. So before I top coat this, <laughs> I'm gonna take one of my eyelash cleanup brushes and I'm gonna clean up these cuticle areas. So when I do this last top coat, that it doesn't, you know, get cured up and look really messy. So after I did my final top coat, I noticed that some product cured on my finger. And as you can see here, I'm using that, I believe it's a cuticle trimmer tool. And I use this for when situations like this happen and it just scrapes the product right off. As you can see, it's just flaking off. It doesn't cut me, it doesn't hurt my skin. So that's a good tip for you. So day two <laughs> of these nails. I changed the shape to more of like an almond. I know I cut up my cuticles and stuff. It's just, you know, I gotta practice using my left hand to do all that kind of intricate work. But that's why I'm doing a lot of these left-handed videos to try to get better at it. So I have these really pretty rhinestones. And I'm gonna use the Venalisa Thick gel I tried to use these and they just totally always disappeared or didn't go with whatever set i was doing so i came across a video where she used these on her whole nail and i was like you know i think i can do that <laughs> So I'm just going to add some of this gel in a few random places. Um, 
I'm going to be staying away from the edges because we don't need to get caught up on everything. I have pretty long hair and that's also why I did um, a peel off base coat. I really didn't want to be ripping my hair out <laughs> all the time. So I'm going to start off with this one, kind of like that. This is pretty much gonna be just, you know, all about the placement and hopefully it'll look right. Oh God, flip over. So let's see. I'm just kinda gonna like slap them on <laughs> and then See what looks good, move it around. Moving on to the next one. I'm gonna do exactly like I did before. Just add some dots of this Venalisa glue. And again, focusing on the center. So I'm only gonna be showing you these two nails because as you can imagine, this took so long to do. It was like a slip and slide on my nail, the placement, getting it right, moving it back and forth. I cut out so much from my thumb finger alone that you guys just would have not been happy <laughs> if I left so much of that in. So basically you just need to, you know, see these two fingers. It's just all about the placement what looks good, what fits, don't go close to the edges, and that's it. Okay, I finally finished all that tedious placement, but it was very, very worth it because these are freaking cute. I wasn't sure, honestly, if I was really going to like this because, you know, I was like, is this just going to look like a jumbled mess or what? But I love it. So I'm taking some top coat and using this really skinny angled brush to top coat in between all of these gems. So the tedious work isn't over. <laughs> but I signed up for this. So yeah, I'm going to get the edges. Just basically wherever the base of the nail is showing. And I'm going to top coat it to finish the set off. And then I will be back for the final reveal. Okay, guys, here's the end results. I love how these nails came out. Just look at that shimmer and shine with these rhinestones. I'm so happy I finally put these rhinestones to use <laughs> somehow because I have been wanting to use them for the longest time. So yeah, 
while this might not be everybody's style and i'm not so sure if it's mine either <laughs> um you know they are really pretty so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye